end of the year giving is a significant source of revenue for most nonprofit organizations. No doubt about that. And that includes Cure for the Kids. I had a chance to talk with Karen Iglesias about how you can still make Christmas special for children at Nevada's only pediatric cancer treatment center. Yes, in years past, we've been able to have, you know, a Christmas party, a Christmas gathering, the community, companies and individuals have dropped toys off at the center. And, you know, today it's just so different with the pandemic. When children come for their treatment, they can only come with one parent. So imagine that you have a child in treatment during this holiday season. This year, we have no Santa coming by. We have no costume characters. And our doctors and nurses really do everything they can to make the child stay with us bearable and even as enjoyable as we can. So all of these cheering, entertainment and gifting for them is on hold this year. So we really wanted to reach out to any viewers any of your um, followers that are, are willing and able to make a gift at this time of the year to designate a gift card. There's a couple of ways to do it for these children so that we can provide them with Christmas gifts at this time of the year. Mm, so important. And, you know, we, we should point out that you guys um, provide um, treatment for these children who have little to no insurance, obviously at no cost to them. So, I mean, really it is life-saving help. And then also I wanna talk about a couple other things, despite the challenges that you face that you have going on. You all debuted an education center in the clinic and it gives patients access to a Clark County School District teacher so important in this day of virtual learning. And I understand you have some other big announcements coming in 2021. We do, we do. Thanks to the Andre Agassi Foundation for Education, uh, we have the funding to open our first ever learning center. And thanks to CCSD and also the Bordenau family for opening Janie's classroom. We now have a beautiful learning center on site here so that children who are going through treatment who are with us uh, for an extended period and these treatments can go on for one, two, three years, we have a learning center here so that children can do their homework, they can have a one-on-one -on -one session with our teacher or an online experience to help them through. Oh, that's fantastic. Just the yeah. work and the commitment keeps going on and on. I didn't mean to cut across you, go ahead. Um, well, I was going to say thanks to that learning center. We have iPads and Chromebooks, computers for our children. So that's why we thought that gift cards would work much better for our children this year because toys have to be sterilized. Yeah. So with a gift card, they can get online here at the clinic and order a gift that they like, and that can enhance their experience and provide that, that spoonful of sugar that helps helps very intensive medicine to go down and, and really help them through this time of year and bring that cheer that we, we always hope to deliver to our patients. I like that Mary Poppins reference, by the way. I like that. <laughs> a spring full of sugar. It helps the medicine go down. That's true. Well, you know, it's definitely a difficult time for our children and our families, especially when they're facing life-threatening illnesses. But we all can do our part in the community and step up. So cureforthekids.org is the email. Uh, or I should say the website, and you're asking people to give. They can give gift cards this year, which would go a very long way to helping your children during this holiday season. So thank you so much. We appreciate the work that all of you all are doing over there, and we will definitely keep in touch.